Hey everybody, this is Blue. Um, I've been talking a lot about Sigil Magic, Chaos Magic, doing a lot of research into these two interesting topics. And I have created a few sigils um, this last year. But I've had one problem with them that, you know, yells at me in my heart. And one of the important things that we have to remember when working with magic, we got to use what is sounding logical. So we have to question everything. We have to, we have to test everything. You cannot take everything that I say as absolute fact. You shouldn't. You should question it. You should question any person that is trying to teach you. So right now, if Oberon Zell was to try to teach me something, I would have to ask him this question. And so let's go into it and I'll explain it as we go. So here is my detailed intent, which is what we're supposed to start with. Send healing energy to my friend Tom. Okay. Now, the next step, they say, is to take out all the vowels. And as you can see in the second line, that's what I did. Now, in the third line, you'll see there's only four letters left because we are supposed to remove all repeating letters. And this is where I have a problem. So many of our key words that we could use in our intent could be using very commonly used letters. And so whole words disappear. So you see those four letters that are left? There are the three words that they represent. Send healing friend, which is different. Because if somebody was to make a magical request of send healing friend, it, to me, it's they're wanting a friend. I'm asking for help for me. So as it as for the words it represents, it is the opposite of what I'm trying to do. I don't need healing energy, but my friend Tom does, but his name's not even mentioned now. Okay? Remember magic is fickle. Um, we have to show details into it. That's why an, a detailed intent is important. But yet doing it, doing sigils like so many people tell us to do, we are removing key words from it. And so in my mind, this is going to fail. And I've had some success with sigil magic and some failures in sigil magic. And so I have been trying to figure out what can I do that's different that could get better results. Now, in my book, The Companion for the Apprentice Wizard, Oberon Zell also tells us how to create a sigil, a our symbol by using these same rules before our name and he showed um, a pretty example uh, J.R. Tolkien has one as well it's very well known and so I thought okay why can't we create a sigil of our name and use it in casting spells what I mean is then I created one, a version of mine, and I put it in a circle. All right, you can see the B right there, pretty darn easy. But anyway, then what I would do is along the inner part of the circle, I would write down my intent so that it is inside the sigil. It is me that is casting the spell. So the sigil is going to represent me and my strength. And the 
boards that are written inside the circle are going to be my intent and then I can charge it and perform the ritual that is desired. So this is my idea of another application for on how to do sigil magic. There is not just one way to do everything. It's just some ways work better than others. And there are things that could work great for you that the person um, right next to you could do and utterly fail at because we are all different as individuals. And so I would like to hear what you think of this idea uh, down below. And everybody, take care. Be at peace.